property of ionic compounds, they all dissociate or dissociate to a certain extent in water until they probably reach a point of saturation, right? And those points of saturation are different for different ionic compounds. But here's the thing. When they go into solution, what do they do? If you had some, some ammonium sulfate, that's the formula for ammonium sulfate, what does it do when it hits solution? Bang! It dissociates into its ions. What are the ions here? Well, look, this is dissociation equation. So you take that compound and you break it down into the two ions and then balance the reaction for how many of those cations and anions that you have. So there's the two ammonium ions plus the sulfate, SO4, two negative. Hey, charged particles. And when they go into solution and you try to run an electrical current through that solution, those charged particles allow conductivity through the solution. And so this is what you call it. You call a solution that conducts electricity an electrolyte. All right, so all ionic compounds to certain extents are electrolytes. Now, here's the thing. Acids are chemical species that also dissociate in solution to form hydrogen ion and the balancing chemical species. Now, here's the thing about acids. There are, in terms of the amount of, uh, the number of acids that there are, relatively few that act in a strong fashion. A strong acid is a strong electrolyte. That's why it's called strong. Not because it's powerful or something like that. And, oh, it burns a hole through stuff. Well, any acid will do that given enough concentration. The point is, a strong acid will dissociate into solution virtually 100%. And so, a strong acid like hydrochloric acid is going to be a really strong electrolyte. Now, acetic acid actually, in a 0.1 mole per liter solution, gives up its H positive about 1.3% of the time. Yeah, so in a thousand molecules, about 13 of them actually break down into their ions. So here is the ionic, or the, sorry, the dissociation equation for a weak acid, but you would say that this is not a strong electrolyte because that's a weak acid, so you call it a weak electrolyte. Yeah, it's as simple as that. And now, moleculars. When you take a molecular substance like sucrose or ethanol or methanol and you dissolve it into water, you actually get a solution of those molecules, but they don't dissociate into ions because they're molecular. And they don't conduct electricity, so you call them non-electrolytes. Okay.